Hello and welcome to my channel. This is my first YouTube video and my name is Dom and in this first video I want to show you how I painted a picture that I recently took from a place near where I live. I want to show you my process, what paints I use, the process, well yeah go through the process and then hopefully in future videos I'm going to do some paint alongs, um, explain the tools I use and why I use them, what my favourite tools are and basically try and demystify painting. Um, my predominant medium is gouache but you can paint along with watercolour, oils, it's uh, no problem. So let's get creative together. I hope you uh, join me on this journey. So let's get to it. So the paints I use in this first painting are Royal Talons, which I rate highly. Um, they're very, really, they're, I'm using really saturated um, gouache, and this is quite a playful painting. Um, my wife wanted me to do for her her new office that I've just decorated. Um, it gave me a chance to move away from the details that I usually paint in all my paintings and just have a bit of fun, to be honest. Um, so I'm just picking out the colours now, as you can see they're all the brightest colours I've got but I wanted to try something different and have some fun. I'll go into uh, what brands I use and why later um, in other videos but predominantly I use Winsor & Newton, Raw Talons and my favourite is M. Graham but I won't be using those today. Simple palette as you can see, only uh, four colours and a white. Uh, today I'm testing out Crescent Board, which I've heard a lot of good things about, but um, today was my first chance. I'm using a three-quarter black gold wash brush, because it's such a big painting, I needed big brushes. Um, I also pick out um, a Dela Rowney brush, which um, I've used a couple of times, quite cheap, but really, really nice brush. Just a flat there. And this is my angle brush for any um, slight details, it's a half-inch um, Dale around here. These brushes are really cheap, you can pick them up from most stores. This is the reference picture I'll be using today. Um, I got a really good picture of a uh, fishing boat just coming from being out at sea. Um, lovely colours, I love the reflection and I, I just wanted to simplify this picture and um, move away from the details that I usually include. So here's my palette, lovely and messy. Uh, so let's squeeze out rose the first colour, I squeeze out way too much colour and I realise afterwards, but hey, gouache is uh, reusable so it's not a problem. So that's the first colour. Then I use this light orange, same brand, in the next well. I usually have a predetermined um, colour selection before I go into a painting. Uh, this is the turquoise green, I'm going to be using this for the ship colour itself with a bit of white. I'll squeeze a bit of that out. Uh, the binders come loose there as you can see but it's not a problem you can mix it in together. Uh, white, this is a Schmincke opaque white. I'll be using a lot of that and um, if you paint in gouache you know that you use a lot of white. And there we go. So that's it. So now I'm just going to select an in, uh, I think it was an indigo water soluble pencil to draw out the shape of the ship. Just a basic shape. Yeah, DeWent Studio. You can use any any pencil. And uh, let's get drawing. So in this, I just want to 
go over quickly I'm just roughly putting in the shape of the ship I'm not going into massive detail it's it's far removed from my normal paintings but like I said I wanted to have some fun so I just want to get the basic shapes of the ship down nothing 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 too exciting and um, I'm nearly coming to a finish now I'm just gonna add some tiny bit more detail because that's me <laughs> and then as you'll see uh, the next stage I was gonna leave the border but I thought I would tape it off because uh, I wanted a nice crisp border when I framed it so I'm just using like a, a low tack so I'm just mixing up a few paints here I'm going to start with a bright pink under layer because I wanted that to shine through um, and I thought it would play off nice against the blue and the turquoise color of the ship and make it stand out because it's quite a large piece so I'm using my heat gun here because the first layer I realized was wet still so I'm just drying off the first layer because gouache does reactivate when you put like a, another wet medium on top of it so I'm just laying in the basic shapes of the ship nothing exciting um, using that turquoise color just lightly laying it down with a big brush um, as and it just stops me from adding too much detail using a large brush and then adding this off-white color for the rest of the detail and uh, this will play out um, and I think I will let the painting do the talking for me uh, put some music in I think and then I'll see you at the end of the video so see you then I've let you cross me when well, mind shuts down and I can't compete my body's shaking and I'm scared to say just how I feel gotta turn on that noise so I can make the right choice I need to know Is if you won't listen I might just have to go I want to leave the side So welcome back. As you can see, I've uh, laid in the ship. I'm just kind of, um, just blocking in the background, just going going around the ship, letting a few of that lovely pink shade come through. What I wanted to say, um, if you've got any questions about my process, because obviously I've just skipped over a lot of it in this first video, I just wanted to introduce myself, show you a quick quick introduction to my painting style. Um, but like I say, if you've got any questions, put them in the uh, comments below. So like I said, I'm finishing up here. Uh, this was a this was a really nice part of the painting because you can lay in big shapes. You, I don't have to be too neat, um, and it was quite liberating actually. It took me back to uh, why I love painting because uh, I can get caught up in the details sometimes. And uh, this was quite an expressive, simple piece for me that um, I was actually quite pleased with in the end. And I think that um, most of you could 
probably achieved this kind of painting whatever kind of stage you are in your painting uh, career so just putting the final details in for the reflections I did add some seagulls in the end um, which I haven't put but I will go over that and you'll see them in the end okay thanks for watching and um, I hope to catch you in the future goodbye for now